So it's the beginning of January and I'm just putting some peas in. So I'm doing some Oregon sugar pod and some sugar snap. I'm doing three peas to a module in a six cell tray. And <laughs> I've lost one. Anyway, I love doing early peas. Uh, there are two primary ways to get early peas. So the first way is to overwinter them so sort of sow them sort of back in October probably um, and use a variety something like uh, Meteor and keep them under cover and the way that I like to do them though is to sow them now which is actually New Year's Day and put them at the back of one of my low tunnels uh, probably a low tunnel that will have lettuce in it and I'll save a six inch strip at the back uh, for the peas and I'll just string them up between um, well some string and that just keeps them supported until about April time uh, under the low tunnel they're nice and happy they think it's April and then actually in April I will uh, take the low tunnel top off and give them free reign to grow as big as they want. And I tend to get the first flowers right at the end of April. And then I tend to get the first peas in May. That for me is the kind of first taste of summer. Lovely, gorgeous, sweet taste in peas. And um, yeah, they're not much behind uh, the variety like Meteor, which you overwinter. You might get those two weeks earlier, perhaps, uh, than I'll get mine. But the benefit of doing it this way, two benefits really. First is you get to eat Oregon sugar pod and sugar snaps rather than Meteor. Meteor is not a particularly sweet uh, uh, pea. Uh, whereas Oregon sugar pod, it's in the name and sugar snap are both gorgeous peas. So you're going to get better peas. You might wait, a two, as I say, about two weeks uh, longer to get those peas. The other benefit is that you don't have to overwinter them. So you can be using that bed for something else. I've just har finished harvesting mine uh, with autumn lettuce. And so you can just pop those plants in, you know, without having used a bed. So you get an extra harvest and just one less thing to look after basically. So these will though have to go under grow lights. Well, not, not have to go, but ideally they'll go under grow lights for about three weeks. So after they've germinated, if you can't put them under grow lights, just put them in a really sunny spot. Uh, ideally not too warm. So cool, but bright is ideal really. Yeah, basically you're trying to duplicate the conditions of about mid-April. So imagine what that's like. That's how to do your peas. So I've done the Oregon sugar pot, I've just got the sugar snaps to do, and uh, then I'll be done. So if you want more details of how to grow peas for a nice long harvest window right up until, well, the end of October sort of thing, then uh, yeah, just check out my ebook down below and uh, check out the individual growing guide section and in there you'll find a whole chapter all about peas. My name's Steve, this is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Allotment Channel and I'll see you soon.